In this seller account creation complete tutorial, I will walk you through the entire process of creating your seller account so that you can upload your digital and physical product and start selling online to global customers. And also, if your aim is to join seller affiliate program, then this seller account creation tutorial steps is where you also have to start from. Thanks for choosing my video. I know there is a list of other options out there and that's the reason why I'm going to do my best to give you the best you're looking for when it comes to seller account creation. Everything. There are two things you want to achieve here. Number one is to open your seller account and then two is to set it up so that you can begin to use it to sell your product. Without any further ado, let's get right to step one, which is to open a new seller account. So to do so, open your browser and type in seller.co. I will also leave the link in the video description. Go ahead and click the sign up button here. So all you want to do here is to type in your email address, make sure that it's an email address that is active and here you want to type in your full name. Don't worry, you can always change this later because it's not going to be the name of your store and then you want to give yourself a nice password. And once you're done with that, come to create account here and click that. Congrats, your seller account has been created successfully. So as you can see here, you are presented with three options. If you're a creator and you want to sell your product and service, you can go ahead with this. If you're an affiliate marketer and you are opening your seller account just for the purpose of affiliate marketing, you can come here. And then if you're a customer who is just on seller to buy product or service, then you can come here. So for this demonstration, I will go with, I'm a creator, I want to sell my product and service on seller. I'll see, once I click on that, my continue as a creator becomes very active here. Yeah? So I'm going to click on continue as a creator. Congrats, opening your seller account is as easy as that. We are done with step one. So please give this video a like right now. It will help me grow my YouTube channel and make more people who need this information to see it. And if you've done that for me, then let's go ahead to the step number two. But before you can confidently say that your new seller account is ready for use, you will need to set up a few other details like adding your payment details, which is your bank account and updating the general setting of your seller's store profile. So to set up your bank account, which you can always edit at any other time, then click the setup bank account button here. So here, fill out your bank detail and make sure that you provide accurate information. So here, I'm a Nigerian and I'm in Nigeria right now. So I will select Nigeria here. As you can see, there are other countries where you can select. So go ahead and select your own country of residence. All right, so here I will come in and fill in my own bank account. I'll choose my bank here and here I'm going to type in my bank account and once I'm done with that I'm going to come here and click the verify account detail but before we leave this field do know that if you are resident in the United States in Canada then you can just select your country either Canada United Kingdom or the United States and then if you select it, you can see that it's going to ask you for your PayPal email. So you want to impute your PayPal email as your payment detail here. Then once you're done, you just click on the continue button and easily you can complete your payment setup. Seller also provide opportunities for the US and Canada residents to use their bank account, just if you don't want to use PayPal. But in that case, you will have to contact seller to do this for you manually. So just come to this live chat support feature here and seller support will help you do the setup manually. Also, if you are in any country that is not included in this automatic form, then just go ahead and choose the rest of the world. And then again, we have to use your PayPal to collect your payments here. So you fill in your PayPal detail. So I'll go back and continue as a Nigerian again. And then once I do that, I'm going to click on verify account now. Okay, so my account detail has been verified and then I'm going to click on continue. Okay. And congrats, your bank details have been linked to your seller account. But before we continue, do know that I have other seller 
tutorials, marketing, make money online, and online visibility videos. I also create videos around this topic every week. So if you love to see videos around this topic, then hit the subscribe button and turn on the alert bell so you get to know when I release my videos. So I know that you're already itching to upload your first product to seller, but just a little patience because we still need to set up your seller stock profile at this point. You need to do this so that your business maintain a good look and your brand is quite presentable. And then more importantly, it will give you an SEO advantage that will help you sell more through Google search marketing. Don't worry too much about what that is right now. So to do this, navigate to the menu icon here at the top right corner. Come to the left menu display here and select settings. Scroll down and select the general store settings. So the first thing you want to do here is that you want to upload your logo. Nothing serious. Any nice looking square logo will work perfect for you. So just click the image icon here and then go to your computer and then just fill in your logo here. The next thing is to fill out your store description. As you can see here that your name, um, it has already been pre-selected based on what you use in filling your form. Okay, so here at the store description, if you have a little knowledge of SEO, then you want to make sure that you use the best possible keyword or a few keywords for your store and try to repeat these targeted keywords within your description. I'll be releasing another video to explain in details how to do this and it's really important so make sure you are subscribed to this channel but if you don't really understand the seo talks then just go ahead and give an accurate simple and short description of your store you can always come back and edit it to a better suited description later so once you have your store description here you scroll down here so just come here and add up your instagram and twitter username and then your facebook url in here it's not compulsory, just in case if you don't have any or more of them. Okay, so here I'll just go to Facebook and then I'm just going to copy my, you know, URL. And if you have a Facebook page, you want to use the URL of your Facebook page. So you just copy it out here and then you come back and then you just paste in here. It's that simple. Here you can add up your phone number. Note that this number will not be visible to the public. And once you're done, just click the update store settings here. Okay. But before we leave this page, just quickly scroll down. And as you can see here, if there are informations you want to collect from your customers, then you can just update them here. Just read through them. They are simple to understand. The one you want, check them. And the ones you don't want, leave it unchecked. I will check the first two boxes for myself. Okay, I'm going to leave this one. So here, who pays for seller transaction charges? Default setting here is that your store button will come in as buy now. If you want to change it to any other thing, you can write it here. But if you want the buy now to remain at the default, then you leave it blank. Okay, seller is technically free to use if you are using the free option. But anytime you make a sale, a little percentage will be charged. Here, the default and the recommended is to set to me, meaning that you will be deducted from the amount paid. But if you want the customer to do the payment, which you really have to think about if that is the choice you want to make, then select customer. So I will leave mine at a default. So I will leave the rest setting and then scroll down and click the update store. So now that all of this has been done quite nicely, let's go ahead and create our first product. So to create your product, once again, come back to this hamburger icon here and come to products and then click add product so here you're going to select if you want to add a physical product or a digital product or a ticket or subscription or service or course whichever one you want to add so i'm going to be using digital product for this demonstration so i'm going to click on that the first thing to do is to add your product image as you can see here the dimension should also be square and a minimum of 300 by 300 pixels. I usually use about 500 by 500 pixels myself. Next is to give your product a name. Put in the price. And again, give your product a description. And here, if you are used to the normal Microsoft Word editor, then it works similar here. 
you can play around your description, you can change text, image, you can embed a video and so on. Every other description rule is the same with the explanation I gave to you while I was explaining the general store description a while ago. Here at the category section, pick out a category that best describes your product. If you don't find any that matches your product exactly, then pick any one that is closest. It's not too much of a big deal. At the subcategory, do the same. If you click the Make Your Product Available button here, then you will be able to upload your product to Seller Cloud and then your buyer can download after paying. Just click the button and then go upload from your computer. For product type, select if it's a physical product or digital product that you're selling. Here they're asking you if this is a pre-order product. A pre-order product is a product that is yet to be, you know, launched. Do you get that? So if it's a pre-order product, you can always do that and tell us when you're going to be launching this product. But for that, I'm going to untick it because I have my product already. Once you do that, you come to this file access type and then if you are uploading a PDF, you're going to click on this. And if it is a downloadable file, you're going to click on this. You can see here that the maximum size of your file should not be greater than 750 MB. So here, if you have your file all zip, you can just come here and then um, drag in the product here and it's going to be uploaded on the seller cloud. And then once your buyers come around and they pay, they, and then you can just come around and download the product, okay? So if you want to redirect your buyers to maybe another external link, maybe your WhatsApp, for example, what some people do is that they could want to collect the details of their buyers before they pay. So you can redirect them to your WhatsApp link, for example, you can place it here and then once they pay, they come to your WhatsApp link and then you can redirect them to wherever it is you want them to get the product from. So it's as simple as that. So once you finish doing that, just come to create product here and click and there your product would have been uploaded successfully and it's going to be live on seller. So once your product has been successfully created, you're going to have it as live product as you can see on this screen. So your product is live now and you can find your product URL up here. So you can copy it and then use it for your product marketing. Do note that this URL is particular to this very product alone. But let's say you have more than one product and you want to share your store general URL so that people can see all your products, then click the hamburger icon. This is it here. Click on it and it will take you to your store and then you can copy your URL and use it for your marketing. It's that simple guys. That is how you get going with your seller account even as a new registrant. One important part that I did not mention in this video is how to create and connect Facebook Pixel so that you can track the activities of your customers who come to your store from Facebook and that is because I have already created another detailed tutorial on that. So check up on this video right here and create and install your Facebook Pixel on your seller store. Actually, it's very important. So, thanks for watching this video to the end. Please like it if you haven't done so already. And for more seller tutorials and other marketing and make money online videos like this, subscribe to this channel. Thank you and I will see you in the next one.